Vision Caster Pak Pulong making a bit of a statement. You guys can catch it on his own social media page. But now, match no point still. But yes, so far, There's no changes. Could it be? Could it be? Oh Pa-pulo my goodness. Pa-pulo Andy Oni. Pa-pulo Andy Oni. Pa-pulo, 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 pa-pulo. That's a song, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know, our caster here, Pat Pulong, in the Indonesian broadcast, always uh, predicts Hates the, Onyx. the team with the lesser audience prediction. So, never Onyx. That's why yeah. the Onyx fans have made that song for him. Pat Pulong is anti Onyx. He despises them. Whoa. I don't know. He has a strong deep word. hatred for Onyx. Well, it's a vengeance. Onyx. Other people call them Onyx. Pat Pulong says, oh no. Just without O oh, knock or O oh, no, just O oh, no. O oh, no. They removed the I and the C. But yeah. for Geek Fam, they didn't remove anything from their previous draft. Man, this is getting like trippy, man. I'm not sure like what moment came from which game. We had three games with a very similar situation. And I think it's they're starting to blend into each other. I think if we see two more of games like this. Okay, I, this, I time, keep this up. time is, is Frederick going Sand in the jungle. Rises when I give the it word. should, right? How do you know? How do I know? Mm -hmm. How the reason why I know is right now it's 9:24. Okay. In Malaysia it's 10:24. Yeah, right. So I'm in the future at the moment. Oh, Whoa. exactly. Let's I'm see. I'm one hour ahead. A Seems whole like hour. Onik has been an hour ahead of these games for a lot. Well, for the last two games, the first two games actually. But Geek Fam finally caught up, and the way they catch up is through the same draft. So. Why, why is it they, that they don't make any of these, you know, adjustments? Pierce! Oh, wait, that, that was the Fels. What? This is not you. What, what do you mean, it's me? The audio. It sounded very similar. Oh. This is the Uranus. Oh. Oh. There was a Hellcurt voice around you, but nice drive. Pretty close enough, Okay, but this now. time x Boy getting picked up. You know what's, what's difficult? Going up against an X-Warg, you want a Bursty Mage. Mm. Paramus is not that. Mm. You want to destroy the Faraga armor as fast as you can. So, uh, on this draft right now, it's looking pretty good. And this time, yes, like I say, I'm in the future. Fredrin is going in the jungle. Yeah. Unless they make it so that x War goes into the jungle, oh, then man. I will look stupid. Yep. Then it'll be a big subversion of our expectations there. And I'm not too sure if they want to go for the Frederick XP again. Geek fans, they go for the same pick. The Irithel this time around. Same as the last three games. And an addition in the XP lane. The Tarizla was left open. They go for that now. Got yeah, a Tarizla. It's a great team fight prowess. But I wonder what Onyx are going to pick up for their marksman. You're in the wrong future. I am. Different multiverse. Irithel and Lapu Lapu for. Better flexibility in a fight. For Onyx though, in game one, this was the exact same draft, but they have a Claude. Without the Claude now, what's it gonna be? I mean, the Lapu Lapu pick is preemptive. No matter what CW plays, it's gonna be hard to catch him. Mm. Lapu Lapu can. Even if Lapu Lapu doesn't get the kill, I would say post uh, 50 minutes, as long as you just push CW away, there's always a chance. As long as he zones him away, yeah? As long as Marky stays alive. Mm. That's the only thing. It's and I feel like I feel like Luke wow. is very much willing to sacrifice himself. They basically are saying here that if you're gonna dive anyways, we're just gonna get sustained. We're just gonna try to cover fully for the Ixia. I don't know man, I, I'm still feeling on it. You're still feeling on it? I'm still feeling on it. Not that way, but I Even like, with the Ixia? Yes. Interesting choice. Because I am also still on it. I feel you like feel on it? I hope production one. heard that. Mm, I think they do. Well, we'll see if that is confirmed, but I think the Lapu Lapu is the only real trouble for the Ixia, yeah? so... I don't know, then Luke needs to do something crazy, something really creative if he wants to make that window of opportunity open up for his team. The window to a reverse sweep will open up if Geep Fam can drop Onik again for this game. We're going into the land of dawn. Can Geek Fam do what has been taught to be the impossible? The Dropping another game. 
from on it. Smash them. Another reverse sweep in the making for Geek Fam if they are able to successfully take game number four. But for Onik, the deal, the mission stays the same. One more game. Well, even the opposition technically stays somewhat the same. So the question is, with Geek Fam learning so much, improving the execution in all these games, Onik has seen most of what Geek Fam can do on this composition, except for Luke. So we'll see if they can try and use that to their advantage, predict maybe, analyze some tendencies for Geek Fam to move a certain way. Honestly, we have to look at the setup for Luke here because one common thing that a lot of Lapu Lapu players have been doing is have the rupture and then build the uh, damage early so that you can have a very, very big impact. If he goes for a lot of defense here, it's not going to be looking good. And yet, uh, and oh no, he's going for defense here. Wow, Lapu Lapu. Mixed here. feelings a bit. I was hoping that he has the rupture so that he could punish. Boots early. He could get a solo kill, but now... With more penetration. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But he went with the Festival of Blood and the Firmness. He fully intends on just being tanky and doing decent amounts of damage. Wanted to dive in the back line and stay alive long enough for his team to finally get the job done. Now, a very slow-paced game at this point. I want to talk a little bit about the matchup again. We saw this earlier in uh, game number two, I believe, the Ixia pick. But it still remains the same, right? For the Ixia here, needs to play safe, has the advantage when it's a pure 1v1. In the previous game, it was against the x -Board. No one is mm. diving on that Ixia except he's, he's using the last insanity. But this time, there's a Lapu Lapu. That's going to be a big game changer. Isn't that right, Arashi? You're the analyst. Absolutely. He is the only real big axe factor here. But maybe, right, with that obvious answer on the table, maybe then Onik was not overlooking some of the other players. Maybe then Beloisky can do something crazy and catch CW off guard. The turtle fight brewing, though Kyrie getting jumped on. Yep, has to use the taunt and the dash defensively. Boots is doing a good job at hiding them back, though. Luke, Bravest Fighter to the back right now. Sons, Bravest Fighter again, that's Ooh. a quicker. And it's stunned, but that's not gonna be able to connect right now. So the last insanity is gonna be tanked fully by the 8th beard in the realm. Good timing on the Earth Shatter, and that's first blunt for Sans, who's still on the Bravest Fighter now, dashing forward to the back line. There's a taunt as well, Whoa. and it's a double for Sans. It's an Earth Shatter and an Abrazer's Wrath. It's an all out win for Onyx. As Nile is left all alone, basic attack and taken out. Four, make it five for zero. I'm sorry, but this is kind of why I don't like firmness here for Luke because against the X War, true damage, mm -hmm. your firmness is kind of like uh -oh. a waste of a slot. Well, every time okay. you criticize right. something, oh. the opposite happens. How is that possible, LaFell? What is this? Is it possible to learn this power? If it just happens in Malaysia, cool, but now I'm doing it in Indonesia. I'm, I'm sorry, Kyrie. It's okay. <laughs> He says he is a generous god. He is? I think so. I think... Well, yeah. So he will judge me? No, he won't judge you. We will be the judge tomorrow for the English auditions. Shout oh, hey. Shout out to the people going tomorrow. And CW is able to secure the gold crab here. We got to see how this whole thing really transfers. Because it's going to be a matchup between the gold leaders. Because as long as Marky doesn't die, it's going to look good. Same can be said for CW. If CW is untouched, Geek Fam, I don't see them winning a lot of the team fights unless Marky can free hit him. That's a big question that we've been kind of talking about, but you said that the, the Nether Realm, keep going to the old name, but the Nether Realm can really deny most of the damage coming in from the full barrage. So, will that still be the case? Or if Onik with this composition, with Ooh. the last insanity, can they? Delay and maybe bait it out using the last insanity and then go for the full barrage or go for the full barrage and then the last insanity I would say because here's the added advantage for the full barrage. It's not just damage Hold on look in the 1v2 now. He's gone rid of the Paraga armor So boots can't really use his last insanity, but yeah, that's all he gets out a 2v1 that doesn't amount to anything But Onyx still are holding on to that 1.7k gold lead going back to my point the full barrage gives extra range for the first and second skill, so you have a layer of crowd control. Right. So that's where part of the the thing that makes Ixia so good is that you open the cone. It's not just damage, but some, some level of crowd control. So that's why the Nether Realm can help you out with that. When you can't move, you don't take much damage. Oh. Nether Realm defensively used up. Nile also with a push Hans. 
Onik doing a good job of controlling this turtle pit for now, but Niall goes over to Julian and there you go, that's Niall with an opening from Beloy. Raven Spider to the back line, CW with a full barrage, doing a lot of damage, last and sand at the end, the appraiser's wrath, everything in a kitchen sink thrown! CW still sustaining against Luke. One more hit, he gets HP flickers out. Luke Ooh. gets the kill, but a boy has the flicker forward into three Onyx members. I still say, kind of worth. Thinking on CW, shoot, sure, two people had to die, but kind of worth. KW. I feel like they lost way more than two people right there, though. Just a. All right, then we, we didn't see it in the end, doesn't count. No. Goal differences by UBS Gold, though. This is where we can see that there is indeed a gold difference, but Marky is still on top, showing again that he knows where to find resources, even in the toughest of games. Keyboy, though, really outperforming Beloy here. That's never a good sign, because both of them are always proactive, always making plays, and if Beloy's can fall behind, Keyboy can just take control. Beloisky, when he falls behind, he's kind of moving forward. Speaking of moving forward, Keyboy's moving backwards. Obviously, there's a full barrage there. Placed down both Keyboy and Beloy. These two roamers will have to respect one another, but that just goes to show you the power, right? Four members had to back away from two. No die possible against this Ixia. And we can definitely see the potential of the Lapa Lapa pick here. CW had to play way more defensively than how he would want to, so... I kind of feel like we see, we're see we seeing the potential, even though Onik is at a very justifiable good lead here. But now they got Beloisky. Oh, that's a good combo, but another round oh. saves him now. And Beloisky is able to get the healing back in for the team. Another another round responded over. Luke does some good damage. Now onto Keyboy. The armor connects, but Luke, this is not enough damage to the Marquee to take him down. Now Boots is in the midst of it all. Jumps in with last insanity. Beloisky should fall here, but a good flicker saves him. Full barrage, not. Position perfectly. Geek Fam get out with a win. That's the kiting from Geek Fam's composition. The speed. The flash of the OAS is completed. More shielding oh, as well when you're low. Marky though. Wow, feeling brave right there. Braving multiple members of Onik. But this is the problem. Onik now can't really keep Geek Fam in place if they're forced to use the bulk of their skills to initially bait out the Nether Realm. Okay, like to be fair, it was potentially gonna be very cool, right? But not enough damage just yet. Onik pulling the turtle to their own side. Boloisky, I think he doesn't know that he is in vision of an Onik. Mm hmm. No, just a pixel away from that bush. Oh, Nile. Oh. Pitch down, now taunted. Earth Shatter. That's Ping Pong playing with Nile as the ball. Look at the back, though. Bravest Fighter gonna be used up right now on the CW, who's now gonna be taking all of that damage. <gasps> flickers out of the way, but it's a flicker as well from Luke. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, it's Luke, it's Nile who falls to the hands of Boots with that big explosion. Am I allowed to say if he has a teeny bit of penetration, he could have gotten that kill? I think you are completely justified to say that, LaFell. Man, that's a great take from you, and it's really showing dividends in this game. For Onik, though, this is like a great situation, kind of, because unlike last game, Geek Fam has always been solid, and they're always clumped up together, covering each other. The Geek Fam unity, Mirko and Gunny dubbed it. But in this game, with Luke jumping in so aggressively every time, it's almost like there are two fronts for the fight. And if Luke can't really get the job done, it's gonna get even more difficult for Geek Fam because they don't really have the same AOE combo they can rely on in those tight situations. You wanna know how me and Ghani came up with that name, Lavelle? Well, what not really, but go ahead. It's what they call their fans, the Geek Fam Unity. So we just put ah. in the Geek Fam and the Unity of their composition. Well, you also mentioned that that also oh, might be a barrage. problem. It's a full barrage, and they're going to be zoned away from their base. But yes, when they club up together like this, then they lose up on that macro flexibility. We have already mentioned this before in their matchup against Bigatron. Was it Bigatron? Yes, I, I believe so. Oh, oh Boots oh. getting pulled back in. Mass Insanity used up offensively. Now, that's a flicker. But it's another round to save Boots. Now, Kyrie is caught. Nile gonna be able to get rid of that Nether Realm HP. Nile with the tortoises poisons walking forward. Healing in the odds of Sans as well, who's gonna be forced to flicker out. Luke has used up everything on that bravest fighter, and Onik are at low HP. Primal Wrath used up by Keyboy to try to deal some damage. That's a good stun on the two members of Onik, but both of them disengage. The Nether Realm is really causing the fights here to prolong way more than it really should because the amount of damage is actually pretty good coming in from both sides. It's just that they both have ways to 
to make sure that they just don't die. And Geek Fam, again, like, as long as Marky doesn't die, it's going to look good. So I'm going to stop talking about it because it might it'll happen. happen. It'll, it'll happen, yeah. If you say it, if you say yeah. it enough, LaFell, it'll happen. Okay, so even though he doesn't have the Rupture, at least he has the Fury Hammer here alongside with the Bloodless Axel. More survivability, but at this point, it really does seem because if you want to go for CW, maybe maybe one extra person has to help you out. Just to secure a kill. Like, you yourself, you can zone them away, but getting the kill, maybe, like, just just one basic attack from anyone might be able to be enough. Well, the question is, who is that going to be? I think the ideal partner would be a boy oh. or... Well, Marky can do it, but, you know, that would be probably too risky for Marky. But now with Flickers burning the bot side, the top side. Good fight breaks out. Oh, no, Marky. Able to purify out of that one. Now it's just a slow build of this front to back. Conceal play by Keyboy. Looking for a pick, but unable to find it. Nile, with that mobility, just walks around, jiggles around. Not gonna lie, I was worried for Marky there. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna talk anything about him. He's a cool guy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's very nice. And he has a GDS now. Uh, uh, that's gonna be mm. okay. I'm that's not gonna okay. say it's good or bad. Okay. I'm gonna say it's okay. Neutral answer. Yes. Yeah. It's just a, a fact, right? He has it solid. Yeah. That's it. He just has it. I won't even say solid. Oh, all right. Even too, I think that's too positive? much for me. Yeah, okay. too, too positive, yeah. All right. We'll see how <laughs> neutral, this neutral item will do in the next fight. It's definitely one of the items of all time. One of the items, yes. Yeah, of all one time. One of the items of all time. Yeah, I mean, you're right on that part. It's an item of all time, yeah. It is. An item of all time. The greatest? No, just an item. Yeah. Not the greatest dragon spear, an average dragon spear. Ah, man. And now the Lord getting pulled by Nail. Kyrie is there showing his face. And Marky is going for the orange buff first. We really got to look at, no pun intended, look. If he's able to get onto ZW, even if, if Onyx secures the Lord, it might be a win for Geek Fam. But the boy positioning aggressively there. You almost wonder if he's going to go for the play, right? Try and catch him off. But since it's a Holy Crystal, boots with the Immortal. So now if you thought that he is, his ex Borg is annoying, about to get even worse right here as he has that second chance at surviving. Now okay. the Lord is getting pulled by Kyrie. Oh, look. Looks like he's getting turned oh by the bitch. Backside. Oh. They find Beloy. They find the healer. They find the guy who plays the main part in these long team fights. Okay, boy. Earth Shatter only on denial. That's Boots getting rid of the Netherrealm HP. He's only them away. Full barrage. A boy flickers out. Another Netherrealm comes in as a Stampede grants a boy his safety. Luke is looking for the hero play but gets terrified in. He's using the Raven Spider to sustain just a bit as Niall walks in forward. The hero play for Niall. He needs to save the game. Does he do it? Oh! He does! Niall! But now with a Terrify, it doesn't matter. They get the Lord. But Onyx fights and fights and fights. When I said Onyx could get the Lord but GFM could win, it's the reverse. Yes. Geek Fam got the we Lord, noticed. but Onik won. Man, what the heck is wrong with you? I, 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 I swear, man, I can't talk. We come here to invite you as a guest. Dude. Now you're cursing our defending champions. Dude. And our new contenders hey, of hey, M5. Hey, 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 you're welcome. I mean, it is competitive. It is fun. So, you know, I'll let them keep doing it as long as it doesn't get boring. How is that even possible? I have no idea, man. I thought it's it was a Malaysian thing. It's the exact opposite of someone else getting the lore and then they instantly lose. You're right. Rashi, you're the analyst. I don't know how you're going to explain this, but... I'm, I'm, I'm the color caster, but now I'm just casting black and white. Because it's like doom and gloom. Mm. It's also like yes or no, right? Win or lose. You decide it as well. As you man. know, I'm, I'm gray. Yo, I'm, I'm very unclear. I'm gray. Oh, you're gray. Gray. We'll see if we can find a great team fight right here. Geek fam going for it. Only on the boots that baptism connected. Boots will be able to zone them away. Earth Shatter dodged away from Nile. In the front now, taking a lot of damage. But no, the holy healing gets him back to very, very healthy. Oh, tier two in the mid lane, taken down. Full barrage from CW. Even a flicker. Whoa, oh. committed in by Chewe. Marky gets some good damage on that mid lane face. I gotta ask you, Miracle. How does it feel as a gold laner? Your entire team tells you, do whatever you want, just don't die. Oh, but before that, E-Boy, can he catch them? 
Oh my god, that's a lot of good combos in, but no damage for now because the Nether Realm has neutralized it. Bottom lane, they're gonna have to take care of it. The housekeeping for Onik. Even though Wiz interrupted, but again, try to tell us the mindset of Marky now. It's like, you're doing good, but you also have to just not die. 2-0, oh. he hasn't died so far. Oh wait, I just talked about not talking about it. Let's oh, talk about... No. Uh, 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 boots. Boots. Let's talk about Boots. He's, he's also. He's well, a Sans as well. Good guy Boots. Good guy Boots. Good he guy knows. Boots. Wait, you say good guy Boots. He's going to go and be a tyrant in the land of dawn, man. Got to be careful. We've seen it before. I We're mean, a good guy Boots and he just whacks three people at the same time. I mean, you can be a tyrant and a good guy as well. Oh. Or you can't? What does tyrant even mean? Like, tyrant refers to, like, in the dictionary as a... As a Unkind ruler. Oh, but I see. I might be wrong though. I'm an analyst, oh, not, a not a linguist. Be unkind. They're used to make straight lines. Hmm? A ruler. Oh my lord. Oh, now I get it. Took you a while, old man. Hey, shut up. <laughs> now, the lord. <laughs> oh, oh, he'll keep talking. All oh, right. That's the curse, man. Oh no. Well, the wave is pushing, kind of. I think it actually it's gonna push in favor of Geekland though. That's a defensive heavy crossbow used up. I heard that grunt <laughs> from LaFell. As Marky had to use that. No, because I'm feeling for the guy. He's stressful. His shoulders must be stiff. He can't die. And now oh my the God. Lord. The Stampede brings them back. He boy with a conceal now. That's a last insanity. He slowed them down, but it's not gonna be enough to connect onto anyone. And now. The health bars, boots, very low. A boy walks up forward, gets Kylan back. These team fights have been so, so long, so, so fun. But Niall and Kyrie are both at level 15. No advantages here. Spencer oh, day! Pull Barrage coming down. Kyrie secures and a CW flickers backwards. Luke still jumping into the back. A boy loses his life. Luke in the midst of it all, making a hero play against CW, but that would have nature earlier. Saved his life and now it has taken Luke down. Now it's a Lord for Onik on top of a kill to Luke. What a play right there. Everything happened so fast and everything was reacted to appropriately from Geek Fam. But at this point, it might just be how behind they are in gold. It might just be the lack of penetration in on Luke to seal the deal for CW. He flickered backwards, get some more, some more channel time on that full barrage. And that was enough to just swing everything in favor of Onik. Lord, now marching in the bot side. Onik has a chance right here to go for the end. And now it is a siege once again, but it's only a siege that can be done in the bottom lane. One lane. It has Lord marching down, crashing in. And Onik has cracked one turret down. Geek Fam are fighting for their lives. At this point, I kind of want to see a hunter strike onto Luke. <laughs> Even if you die, it doesn't matter. Just die. It's okay. Just kill CW. Equalize it. That one for one treat feels like one in a million. If he goes for it, it's definitely worth it. But with the mid tower defended, on it goes harder on the second. First shatter, full barrage. That's another realm to grant them another HP bar, but the boy is going to oh! be caught right now. That's insanity by Boots onto Beloy. Just loses the immortality. Kyrie's tanking it up right now. The Bravest Fighter gets used up as well. Boots loses the Faraga armor and now gets shut down. Kyrie running. Shield unity by Niall. Sans bottom with the truncheon earlier right now. That should be used in this fight right now, but Kyrie, oh my goodness, will be taken out by Luke with a redemption play. Hey, you know what? Luke can add a key to his name, Luke Key, because he's the key to winning this game as well. we were gonna say he's lucky. Luke Key, look. That might have worked better. Exactly. <laughs> I, I should have thought about that. It's unfortunate, LaFell, because, oh my, oh, Barrage! CW, oh. Black oh, One oh. more hit! Lucky Eli! Again and again! It's always a hero play from Onik. I'm what? so sorry, Luke. The moment oh, no. I say he was the key. Dude, shut up. Oh. Why? Why I've do you have to curse? He's not a key, Geek he's fam. the lock. Oh, man. <laughs> that is uncanny, man. How I'm is that so even possible? sorry. Oh, boy. I have no words. That was oh, a three. Man. That was a 3v5? 3v4? That Onik, was a 3v4. They just surprised the Geek Fam. And now it's the, the exact, uh, again, it's like a back and forth, it's like a badminton game. And now we'll have to see if Geek Fam can again pull Barrage from Chewe! 
as he's able to siege down. The base turret up top now is getting there with Shadow connecting onto a boy. Oh. boy with a flicker play. Holy baptism in, but Niall gets chunked low. A boy. Again, it's a stampede to chase Onik. And now the Lord is up. A lot on the line here. Geek fam. Again, this is just every single game feels like a best of one for Geek fam here. They make one mistake, and it's and it's over. You're gonna lose to Onik. And this is gonna be a difficult dance because this is the Lord here with no inhibitors in their base. Hmm. It's not pretty for Geek fam. And yes, this is another intent. Okay, Hunter Strike, thank goodness. Boom, all right. We'll see if that solves the problem for Luke. Earlier with the Death Timers a bit scattered, Onik were able to take advantage of a 3v5 kind of, right? Going with a full barrage, no trade back in the fight, but now it's a 5v5. Baloyski has no flicker though, and neither does CW for another 10 seconds. Clock is ticking. Uh oh, big, big mistake there. Primal run through the use, and that's why you see the conceal here. Oh boy, using this to get some more of a position. But Kibo used the Primal Wrath to get back to full HP. His dance gonna be Luke chunked. Let's see. The battle. Niall knocked up, taunted up right now. His dance gonna be the Earth Shatter and the full barrage again from ZW. But Luke! Not able to find it. Kyrie gets the retry. And on the Brazers, right, but he loses his life to members. It's Kyrie and Niall who gets taken oh. down. Oh my god. Oh. No. Oh, oh. oh Sans made a Price mistake. Immortality. Sans fades it out. ZW with a flank onto the back. The Holy Baptism is there. A boy pulls Sans back, he gets the kill. CW is chasing a boy, but look at the other side. Keyboy versus two. Dashes forward with the onward. Now Marky can do it. Oh, bottom lane is CW who wins it. But now it's a 2v1, making a 3v1 with a boy. Wait, hang on a minute. CW is the only one left. Uh -oh. The Lord is alive, but a boy is back due to the passive. We talked about this okay, earlier. All right. All right. Does it seem like they're going to go for an end? Yeah, so for now, Geek Fam has bought themselves time, which is looking very good. Because even though Onik has a 5k gold lead, wait, Marky and Beloyski, are they trying to force this out? They don't even have a minion wave, so probably not. With Kyrie spawning, that is definitely dangerous. But Onik could have just walked away. Sans went for the bait play. And I mean, if it worked out, that would have been a, another Gila Sans moment. But man, with the stakes this high, right? He just went for it. I guess that's that's a the good thing and the bad thing about Onik. They just yeah. go for it, no hesitation. I would say that's a very rare mistake coming in from Sans. It's almost like he knows Geekman will do something to him. So he used the winter and Burn it's like expectations. Oh, that's chaotic that's evil. That's what Geek are doing. Ooh, they're subverting expectations. They are going in and then saying, nah, I was joking. Man, look how just chaotic evil at this point. Why I would am. You, why I would am. you say that? No, I think I'm a chaotic good. I'm, I think I'm a, I'm a good person because... Is it good? I'm, I guess you're testing the relationship no, and if I'm, it I'm works. I'm very humble. I've met a lot of people around the world, but I've never you met anyone just more said. humble than me. You literally just said you wore two watches to flex. <laughs> yeah, but in a humble way. But what does that even mean? Could, I, I could have worn I could have worn something more expensive, but I chose not to. That's a flex in its own right. I mean, saying like that. I mean, like it's because of my financial capabilities that this is only what I can afford. But still, I'm humbly not affording more expensive watches. Do you not understand that? Ah. Uh. Mm. I really don't. This uh, is a weird way of. There's a lot of like I think acrobatics to mental it's gymnastics to make this work, dude. I don't know. If you're the best at manipulating people. You Whoa. said it yourself. You did. You might be working on us. You can't beat those allegations because you did it yourself, dude. Like, look, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. If there was a humble competition, I would win. Let's just put it that. that <laughs> You would that's, win. That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Getting knocked out in the first round isn't winning, Lavelle. It's a very different game there. But here, it is Onik who are playing the long game with the Lord, just dancing with it. It takes two to tango, though, so Geek Fam needs to come over if they want to truly dance with the Lord. And it takes T tree. Oh. It takes a tree? Never mind. <laughs> Onik now, they're in a better position. Yeah. CW is not showing his face just yet. The moment Luke sees CW's face, he wants to smash it, but not in that way. This is getting personal. CW has only died once. So has Sans. Marky, so has Marky. Even. Everybody is now no longer deathless. Oof, look at his damage from Boots, though. It's just constant hosing him down. And Geek Fam, they don't really have the kind of intelligence. They kind of flank. They kind of flank to find some vision here. They might be forced into a weird fight. 
Oh yeah. In a in a certain situation, oh. every fight is weird. And now the Lord has been resetted because they're like, it's not weird enough. It's not weird, Pam. It's Geek Pam. Ooh. Well, this is a great moment for Onyx though, because the wave on top, that was building up from a single wave. Now it, I think it's consisting of three to four waves total. Ooh. That's definitely a big problem, but so is Boots losing the Firaga armor. Geek Pam's gotta pull the trigger fast. They gotta make a decision. Fight now, or let the minion crumble into their base. Well, we saw what happened when they let the minion crumble in game number one. It was a segue play by CW, but it was also a different pick. It was a quad. Now they're looking oh. forward. That's going to be Keyboy with an onward, knocking Nile down. Kyrie jumping forward right now. Their Lord is at very low HP, and it's Marquee, who finds it. But the full barrage is there to deny any sort of full commitment. But I think for Geek Fam, that is the biggest W so far in this series for them. If this was game number two, they would have continued the fight. Just saying that. Hmm. Definitely not ideal for Onik right there. With everything working towards them, they were the ones who initiated the first move there to break the stalemate. I feel like they should have forced Geek Fam, like you said, LaFell, with the lack of engage to try and do something and maybe overextend for the punish. But they opted for a different situation. Maybe they were trying to ca catch Geek Fam off guard. But they went for it, and now they're paying the price for the 50-50. And Marky has just been so good at stealing away these lords. How is he doing this? He's the solution. That's how the prophecy is true. The Mar key to oh, CW. victory. Wow. CW already with a flicker. Harry holding on the lord right there, but it's going to be crashing in no matter what you do. Holy Baptist on the keyboard. Boots right there with full barrage. Once again, Boots with last insanity, but it's going to be engaged or disengaged from by the side of Geek. The full barrage, not enough to zone Geek completely away, but it has taken them to half. Sounds of the splash. Nile running around. That is both these teams disengaging for now, but now it's going to be a seal for the side of Onyx. Boots still with that fire. Three base turrets down. First attempt for Geek Pam to drop it down. It's 9 up. Is the second time going to be good? Last Insanity to the back. Wolojski doesn't lose his life. That's going to be the immortality. Bob by Sans as Luke drains it down. Still able to survive. Keyboy loses the mortality as well. Oh. Right now, the minions coming down into the base. Kyrie holding it off. They're not able to free hit the base right now. That's going to be one minute more minute wave. A boy getting out. Full barrage oh. from CW. And that's a stun. That's a defense of Onyx Lifetime. A boy respawns back in. CW picks up a double kill. <laughs> I'm lost for words. That, that full barrage prevented Geek Fam of having the possibility of getting the reverse sweep then and there. Now the odds are even. No team oh! has an The odds are even indeed. No CW with an immortality. Kyrie saving him. Rose Gold Meteor bought by CW, but it's not going to be enough for him to survive. A boy puts his foot down as he shuts him down. Keyboy, Kyrie, and Boots. Three members against the three members of Geek. It's an all-out brawl. Luke is waiting for the cooldown on that Brave Spider. That's the Earth Shatter and the Primal Wrath connecting. And the Razor's Wrath as well. Little Trunch and Bot. Luke buys the Immortality. Last and Sandy connected to the back. But it's a boy who finds the kill. The sustain is not enough. Boots buys the Winter Trunch and kites them back. Kyrie in the midst of it all. Taunts them up and disengaged for the team. Running away. The Stampede to chase him once again. Pulls him back. Holy baptism. But Kyrie used the Retribution. Kyrie's running away. Another baptism comes out. Kyrie. Trying to sustain, trying to survive the holy healing. The bravest fighter, everything oh. in unison used up to Kyrie. Still surviving. What the heck is this man built of? Kyrie, the god in the jungle. I'm sorry. If you do that with Lancelot, I can wrap my head around it. What the hell? That's not even an assassin. What a god. Psycho Fred in the building. What is that? That. Kyrie is unfair. He's the one. He's the unfair one. Man. Onyx did lose several members right there though. So Geek Fam gets a free Lord. But you just don't feel like it's a guaranteed win even now. It's unfortunate that earlier C oh, oh, what? Oh, oh. oh, is it the end of the game? Full Barrage once again. They're all in the range. And CW is using the full extent of it. The Lord's down. The Lord's down. I repeat, the Lord is down. Only Kyrie down. Beloy. Flicker Ooh. forward, Keyboy with a flicker defensively as well. 
And now Sans taking quite a lot of damage. Mid wave, is this gonna be enough? Last Insanity by Boots right now, a desperate play right now with Asuki BCW in the back once again, trying to clear the wave. T-Boy jumping oh. forward, onward as well, but the base is wide open. Sans Blinker is backwards as well. This is a big defense, but they're all very targeted. And Geek Fam have equalized against Onik. One slot to M5 hasn't been confirmed. No! We craved for game number five. We got our wishes. Geek Fam. One more win to make to make this a reverse sweep. If Gipram does it, they deserve to go to M5. I don't think anyone else can make an argument that says otherwise. What is that? This is supposed to be the most dominant team, the untouched kings above everyone. And now they are being pulled down to the mortal realm. This is where this is Onik. This is where Onik is out of their element, man. Is this actually gonna happen?